In the 20th century, tri-jet passenger planes held significant value for many airlines. These aircraft offered longer range and faster cruise speeds compared to their twin-engine counterparts. Featuring an innovative three-engine configuration, they were considered more efficient than four-engine jets and could be more easily managed in the event of an engine failure. The trijet design was particularly well-suited to wide-body aircraft, providing greater payload capacity than twin-engine models. Despite their prominence in airline fleets at the time, rising fuel costs and advancing technology eventually led to their decline, with only a few remaining in service today. Here are the top 10 trijet aircraft ever to take to the skies. Boeing 727 the Boeing 727 is a classic American airliner developed and manufactured by Boeing Commercial Airplanes, with its first aircraft entering service in 1964. This narrow-body jet is renowned for its distinctive three-engine layout, making it a popular choice for both passenger and cargo transport. It remains the only Trijet ever produced by Boeing, powered by three Pratt & Whitney JT 8D low-bypass turbofan engines, one mounted on each side of the rear fuselage and a third fed by an S-duct beneath the T-tail. These engines enable the 727 to cruise at 518 knots and achieve a range of 2,250 nautical miles while carrying up to 106 passengers in a two-class configuration. Primarily designed for domestic and short international flights within its range, the 727 saw its final passenger service in 2019 before being succeeded by the Boeing 757. The aircraft was specifically engineered for operations at smaller airports with shorter runways and in cities with lighter passenger traffic. Originally, the design included a rear stairway that could be deployed during flight, However, this feature was revised after the infamous D.B. Cooper hijacking incident over the Pacific Northwest. By mounting its engines on the rear fuselage rather than the wings, the 727 achieved better lift and improved its ability to land on shorter airstrips. McDonnell Douglas DC-10 The McDonnell Douglas DC-10 is a wide-body trijet airliner designed and built in the United States by McDonnell Douglas. Widely used for both commercial passenger flights and cargo transport, the DC-10 is recognized for its impressive performance and capacity. It entered service with American Airlines in 1971, intended as a successor to the DC-8 for long-range operations. The aircraft features a two-level fuselage design, with the upper deck dedicated to passenger seating and the lower deck utilized for baggage storage and food preparation. Elevators were installed to move people and service carts between the two levels. The DC-10 is fitted with retractable tricycle landing gear, along with an additional two-wheel main landing gear to support higher gross weights. Powered by three turbofan engines, two mounted on underwing pylons, and one embedded at the base of the vertical stabilizer, the DC-10's engines delivered more than twice the thrust, but only half the noise of the early generation turbojet engines. The passenger cabin is arranged in a twin-aisle configuration, capable of accommodating up to 270 passengers across two classes. The original DC-10 models had a range of 3,500 nautical miles, which was later extended to 5,200 nautical miles in upgraded variants to support intercontinental travel. Lockheed L-1011 TriStar the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar is an American medium to long-range, wide-body Trijet airliner developed by the Lockheed Corporation. It was the third wide-body jetliner to enter commercial service, following the Boeing 747 and the McDonnell Douglas DC-10. Known for its advanced technology, quiet engines and superior passenger comfort, the L-1011 first flew in 1970 with a shortened, longer-range variant debuting in 1979. The TriStar could accommodate up to 400 passengers and offered a range of approximately 4,000 nautical miles. It was notable for its innovations, including Autoland capability, an automated descent control system and optional lower deck galley and lounge areas. The L-1011 
was the first jetliner to feature an integrated drive generator, which helped reduce crew workload and improve fuel efficiency. It also boasted a highly advanced autopilot system and became the first wide-body aircraft to receive FAA certification for Category 30 Autoland operations, allowing for fully automated landings in zero visibility conditions. Unique to the TriStar was its direct lift control system, enabling smoother approaches without significant changes in pitch during descent. Powering the aircraft were three Rolls-Royce RB211 engines, whose development challenges caused delays in the L1011's production. Dassault Falcon 7X The Falcon 7X is a long-range, high-performance business jet developed by Dassault Aviation. First flown in 2005 and entering service in 2007, the 7X is a three-engine cantilever monoplane featuring a low-mounted, highly swept wing, a mid-height horizontal stabilizer, and a retractable tricycle landing gear system. It is powered by three Pratt & Whitney PW307A turbofan engines, two mounted on the sides of the rear fuselage and one centrally positioned. The Falcon 7X marks several milestones for Dassault, being the first production Falcon to feature winglets and the first business jet to incorporate a fully fly-by-wire flight control system. It also utilizes the advanced avionics suite from the Falcon 900X. Designed with a standard crew of three, the aircraft can accommodate up to 14 passengers and boasts an impressive range of 5,939 nautical miles. Inside, the 7X showcases a state-of-the-art glass cockpit with a head-up display and an infrared-enhanced vision system. Its aerodynamically refined design delivers outstanding performance, particularly suited for operations at short runway airports. The cabin features an advanced pressurization system and is divided into three spacious and luxurious living areas, offering unmatched comfort and elegance. Hawker Sidley Trident The Hawker Sidley Trident is a British trijet narrow-body airliner developed by Hawker Sidley. Introduced in 1964, shortly after its competitor, the Boeing 727, the Trident remained in service until its retirement in 1995. The aircraft features a low-mounted swept wing and a T-tail configuration, powered by three rear-mounted Rolls-Royce Spey low-bypass turbofan engines. Equipped with advanced avionics for its time, the Trident became the first airliner to perform a fully automated blind landing in revenue service in 1965. The original version of the aircraft could accommodate between 101 and 115 passengers, while a later stretched variant, extended by 5 meters, increased seating capacity to 180 passengers. During its operational years, the Trident was among the fastest subsonic commercial aircraft, cruising at speeds over 610 miles per hour and offering a range of approximately 1,840 nautical miles. Initially, 15 units were produced and operated by carriers such as Kuwait Airways, Iraqi Airways and Pakistan International Airlines. Yakovlev Yak-40 the Yakovlev Yak-40 is a three-engine regional jet developed in the Soviet Union by Yakovlev, entering service in 1968. It is a low-wing cantilever monoplane featuring unswept wings, a large T-tail and retractable tricycle landing gear. The passenger cabin is positioned forward of the wing, while the short rear fuselage houses three turbofan engines two mounted on short pylons on either side of the fuselage and the third embedded within the rear fuselage. Designed with a pressurized fuselage, the Yak-40's cockpit accommodates two pilots seated side by side and the passenger cabin typically seats between 24 and 27 passengers. Its wings, fitted with large trailing edge slotted flaps, are mounted directly to the aircraft's centerline with a main spar running continuously from wingtip to wingtip. The Yak-40 was notable for being the first Soviet-built airliner designed to meet Western airworthiness standards. Powered by three Ivchenko AI-25 turbofan engines, it could achieve a range of approximately 971 nautical miles. 
The tri-engine configuration provided increased redundancy and enabled strong performance on short, unimproved runways. Early versions of the Yak-40 featured a rear fuselage ventral air stair for passenger boarding, although later models eliminated this feature during upgrades. Dassault Falcon 50 The Dassault Falcon 50 is a French super mid-size, long-range business jet, renowned for its tri-jet configuration, range and cabin comfort. Featuring an S-duct air intake for its center engine, the Falcon 50 was Dassault's first business jet to incorporate three engines, providing added performance and redundancy. The prototype made its maiden flight in February 1979, receiving French certification that same month and USFAA certification shortly after in March. The Falcon 50 shares the fuselage cross-section of the earlier Falcon 20, but introduces a completely new design, highlighted by an advanced, supercritical wing for improved aerodynamic efficiency. It is powered by three Honeywell TFE 730-131C turbofan engines, with an optional auxiliary power unit, enabling a cruise speed of approximately 609 miles per hour. The aircraft typically accommodates up to nine passengers in a spacious, luxurious cabin and is well-suited for long-distance travel with a maximum range of about 3,000 nautical miles, allowing for non-stop transcontinental flights. In 1996, Dassault introduced an upgraded version, the Falcon 50X, featuring improved engines and updated avionics. One of the standout features of the Falcon 50 is its ability to operate from shorter runways, expanding its access to a wider range of airports. Coupled with its high-altitude performance, advanced avionics, and reputation for reliability, the Falcon 50 remains a highly respected aircraft in business aviation, appreciated for its balance of performance, luxury, and versatility. Tupolev Tu-154 the Tupolev Tu-154 is a three-engine, medium-range, narrow-body jet airliner developed by Tupolev in the Soviet Union. First introduced in 1968, it became the backbone of Soviet and later Russian domestic aviation, serving as the primary airliner for Aeroflot and its subsidiaries. At its peak, the Tu-154 carried over half of all Aeroflot passengers and remained the standard for domestic routes across Russia and other former Soviet republics well into the mid-2000s. Renowned for its distinctive T-tail and trijet configuration, the Tu-154 was engineered for medium to long-haul operations. It was exported to 17 non-Russian airlines and also adopted for head-of-state transport and military use by various countries. The aircraft typically accommodated between 150 and 180 passengers and was valued for its high performance on shorter runways, owing to its powerful engines and strong climb rate, making it particularly suitable for challenging airport environments. Despite being phased out from most commercial fleets due to noise regulations and fuel inefficiency, the Tu-154 remained in use for special missions, cargo transport, and VIP operations in several regions. Its rugged construction, iconic silhouette, and pivotal role in Cold War-era aviation have earned it a lasting place in aviation history as a symbol of Soviet aerospace engineering and a cornerstone of 20th century air travel. Boeing X-48 The Boeing X-48 is an American experimental unmanned aerial vehicle developed to explore the benefits of a blended wing body design. This innovative configuration seamlessly merges the fuselage with the wings, resulting in a highly aerodynamic shape that improves fuel efficiency, reduces noise, and lowers emissions compared to traditional aircraft designs. The X-48 program is a joint collaboration between Boeing and NASA, aimed at advancing subsonic flight technologies. Powered by three small turbojet engines, the X-48 was capable of flying at speeds of up to 136 miles per hour. The design offers significant advantages in structural, aerodynamic and operational efficiencies, translating into extended range, improved fuel economy, 
and lower manufacturing expenses over conventional aircraft architectures. The X-48 underwent a series of successful flight tests, demonstrating both its unique flying characteristics and its stability in flight. Overall, the Boeing X-48 marks a major step forward in aerospace engineering and represents an important move toward more sustainable and environmentally friendly aviation technologies. DC-10 Air Tanker The DC-10 Air Tanker is a series of five aerial firefighting aircraft converted from McDonnell Douglas DC-1030 airliners by the American Joint Technical Venture, 10 Tanker Air Carrier. Since entering service in 2006, these aircraft have been used extensively in wildfire suppression efforts. With a carrying capacity of approximately 12,000 to 13,000 gallons of fire retardant, the DC-10 is one of the largest air tankers in operation. The retardant is stored in three centerline belly tanks equipped with internal baffles to minimize fluid movement during flight. These tanks maintain a 15-inch ground clearance and can be simultaneously filled in just 8 minutes. The full load can be released in as little as 8 seconds, though the drop rate is computer-controlled to ensure precise coverage and effective fireline treatment. Originally designed for commercial use, the DC-10's robust airframe offers exceptional stability, range, and the ability to access remote areas that are difficult to reach by ground. Typically operating in coordination with ground crews and other aircraft, the DC-10 performs multiple drop patterns and strategies tailored to the fire's behavior and terrain. Today, four DC-10 air tankers remain in active service. Their combination of size, efficiency and reliability has made them indispensable in the fight against wildfires, playing a crucial role in protecting ecosystems, communities, and infrastructure from devastating fire events.